Andy Ross? No, obviously not. I wasn't even behind the bloody stage. Uh, hello, I'm the first uh, mug to smash into the floor this evening. Uh, and I'm not, 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 no, I'm not ready. Definitely not ready. Stop, stop, Still not ready. Stop, stop. Hello, I'm the host of the Not So Late Show, a live chat show. And on tonight's show, go. We'll be joined by uh, oh, Carnage. We'll be joined by Carnage. We'll be joined by everyone out on that Friday night in Manchester. What a wonderful night it was. Does this microphone even work? No, it doesn't. There we go. Uh, there's a, uh, a young man uh, on the uh, the floor there, reaching uh, for his pint. Uh, you sir, you sir, that'll be you in approximately half an hour, will it not? Thanks for joining us, sir. Thanks for making it easier. Okay. We'll also be joined uh, by uh, my uh, my grandmother, uh, who uh, once went. Uh, out uh, to a fancy dress party as uh, one of the, uh, the warriors. Uh, Sean, uh, thank you very much for the accompanying result. You're delightful. Uh, and uh, this was that other evening uh, from a completely different angle. Uh, there you can see uh, three ladies saying, Well, surely I'm not for fucking lying here. I don't understand what the problem is. That huge woman riding a motorcycle. Uh, there we go. And uh, we'll also be joined by uh, a couple who uh, decided to celebrate their wedding in a place of extremely strong gravity. Uh, it's very strong gravity. It really is quite uh, conducive to uh, rather a uh, chaotic wedding. And the football, of course, why wouldn't you have a football? That, this strong gravity thing's really catching on uh, at the, uh, the moment. So there's a young lady uh, who was uh, out on a night out in Manchester, in fact, and then uh, attended the wedding in her tiny little car. So thanks for that, uh, thanks for that, madam. She'll be coming on to tell us about the time uh, uh, Ivor uh, sat in a, uh, an art gallery in Leeds uh, and uh, declared that, come on, Sean, keep it going. And uh, declared, uh, what's the kind of thing? Look at the pianist and uh, he turned off. Uh, yes, uh, Ivor, delightful there he is uh, as, it, as it stands. We'll also be joined by uh, the men from uh, Tattoo Fixers. Uh, and uh, he's slowly turning into a duck as he uh, turns that tattoo uh, into a uh, piece of art from that uh, young lady who also has passed out. A lot of people passing out uh, on tonight's uh, show, that seems to be the thing. Uh, we'll also be joined by the man who invented the car, uh, just that car, that one particular car. We'll be asking, why did you invent that car, sir? Why on earth would you invent that car? It's a terrible car, horribly designed. Quite frankly, it's ridiculous, uh, and uh, he'll be showing us exactly how the car works uh, to uh, just one woman, one single woman. Uh, she's the only person who bought the car, uh, funnily enough. It wasn't a particularly good car, she was the only person. He's saying, that bit there, love, that's the battery, and she's saying, I don't think it is. Uh, well, also, oh, exactly, yeah. I don't know if that's for the dog or my performance so far, uh, but we'll go with that. Uh, we'll also be joined by a, uh, the world's first dog mechanic uh, on the show tonight. He'll be telling us uh, how it's a rough life. Uh, okay, and uh, again, we've got the, the car theme going on. Uh, we'll also be joined by the world's first arse mechanic. Uh, he was uh, decapitated uh, from the, uh, the waist up. I don't know what that, what's, what happens when you get decapitated from the waist up, Sean. You die. You die. <laughs> <laughs> terrible, terrible news. Uh, we'll also be joined by uh, uh, people on the Leeds uh, inner ring road system uh, at approximately 6.55 on any weekday uh, evening. Uh, they'll be telling us how the fuck they got to work. Uh, that day, uh, and uh, exactly why they even bother living at all. <laughs> Coming a little bit later, uh, we'll be joined by uh, Frank Sinatra uh, in. Uh, well, that's actually the, the inner workings of a dog's head. Uh, <laughs> uh, Frank Sinatra is inside every dog's head. And uh, again, uh, it is Halloween. With the gravity's gone sideways, though, this Halloween. Uh, terrible it was, and uh, she saw it. Absolutely terrible scenes. Uh, just, just terrible shot, wasn't it? I was all quite upset, but um, I didn't feel the need to make any Facebook or updates about it. <laughs> Good. Well, uh, we'll also be joined uh, by uh, Louis Armstrong, uh, who's grown to an enormous size. Uh, and uh, he'll be, that's not the that's actual full size uh, instrument there, uh, but a, 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 a huge man. Uh, and uh, also on tonight's show, uh, we'll be uh, catching up with uh, two cows who uh, have to pull around their uh, their friends all day uh, because uh, that's the cows. They've got no choice in the matter, have they? What are they going to do? They're just cows. There are cows on the shop. They, they are cows. They are cows. Uh, well, you can also win a holiday uh, to uh, to there, uh, which is uh, that's uh, Round Hay Lake. Uh, after the, the, the apocalypse. The apocalypse, they're the only surviving people after the, the apocalypse in Leeds, that'd be lovely. Uh, you can walk around around here. Uh, and this will be life after the apocalypse. Uh, so uh, we'll be talking to a, a man who's had to endure life after the apocalypse. He'll be saying it's very much like a five minute random slide challenge. That'll be, that's what the apocalypse feels like. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, you know, eventually communities will spring up post-apocalypse. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the design will uh, be of a 90s 
uh, detached house uh, in a middle class suburb. Uh, apparently after the apocalypse, uh, people really did lose their uh, creative spark. Uh, and uh, speaking of lack of creative spark, uh, here's a television studio. <laughs> That's satire. <laughs> so uh, we'll be joined by uh, some satire uh, in a little bit. So you like satire? Yeah, good. <laughs>